What up, y'all? Y'all. So, you guys have asked me on YouTube about this guitar, and I thought I would do a review um, before it's gone. Um, this is an Epiphone G400 Custom. Basically, a Gibson SG, uh, like the VOS models, the really old looking guitars. Um, this is the Epiphone made version of it, and it is not a terrible guitar. Um, it's just not a Gibson. Um, this is actually the second one I've owned, and the reason why is, well, I tried to find many videos on YouTube, and I could not find any good ones, or decent ones, so um, I went out and bought it, just out of impulse whenever I found it, and I was not happy with that one, just wasn't staying in tune, and frets were kind of buzzy, and I just thought, oh, maybe it's a bad quality Epiphone. Well, turns out I think it's all Epiphones. I think it's just because I got an SG like an actual Gibson SG, and I can't really expect more <laughs> from an Epiphone. So I tried, and um, uh, it's just, it's not me. Um, I love this guitar, the look of it is, um, but it just doesn't feel like my SGs and doesn't play the metal and the classic that I like. So I'm actually going to be selling it later today. Um, but, so this guitar was originally $600 new, and um, find them used for pretty cheap um, 300 and under um, but it's actually definitely one of the nicest Epiphone Gibson or one of the Epiphone SG's um, you can see you have the side binding you have actual you know like the pearl it says Gibson Les Paul I think that's what they called them back in the day um, and then Les Paul didn't like that so they had to change the name and they have Grover tuners gold Grover tuners um, which are pretty nice. You have binding, you have nice um, inlays, little square ones like the customs. Uh, you have the Les Paul um, little pickguard thing in between the pickups and you have the three pickups. That's the main reason why I wanted this guitar was the three pickups and um, I'll show you how they work. So you have volume, volume, and volume, and then tone. Tone is for everything. Um, but say how this works is this volume is this pickup, this volume is this pickup, this one is this one. So if you were down in the, the, the treble mode, both if both of these are on, both of these, uh, the, the middle and the, the bridge pickup are on, you roll the middle one off, it's just the bridge. So that's how the bridge works. So if you roll this completely off, you can use this just like a real guitar, or a real guitar, a uh, normal standard two pickups. Um, and then you, what's cool is you can roll this one in and blend these two together. So like if you want a little bit and a lot, or if you want you know less on this one and more on this one, which is cool. Um, and then when you go in the middle, it's all three pickups, all three volumes. So like if you wanted to blend it and do like I want a lot in this one, little in this one, and medium in this one, you can do that. So um, it sounds very cool and you can get all different sounds out of it. Um, and then when you go in the neck, it's the neck and this one, and then you can roll this one off, it's the neck, roll it together. And then what you can also do too is roll, put this anywhere you want, and roll these off, and then it's just the middle, which is, you know, kind of unique. Um, has gold hardware. Um, as you can tell, it is not white. That is white. This is cream. That's another reason why I just, I can't fall in love with it. I'm a, I'm a silver, silver hardware person or black hardware I'm not very into gold I think gold is just weird it's trying to be like too perfect or something it just doesn't flow well with me um, and I just I don't know it's silver and you know the color is just not the best and if you don't like the color of the guitar of any guitar you shouldn't buy it <laughs> I mean I like this I was in love with this and this is the only color that comes in so I had to go with it um, but if like say for instance you absolutely hate red don't buy a red guitar because you're not going to get inspired to play it as much compared to like you know like i love teal that's why my sg is teal um but i will play this bad boy for you in one second all right so what i'm playing through is an orange rocker verb mk100 with a 212 orange cabinet and this guitar and if i come out of tune I absolutely fully apologize, it's this guitar. Um, 
This guitar is something with its neck. See this? Barely put any pressure on it and it comes out. Um, but anyway, so this is the bridge. Let's try to do a pretty chord or something. That's just the bridge. Now if I add in the middle. See how it comes out a little bit more like, I guess, creamier? Or a little bit more rounded? Like... Take the tone off. I never mess with tones. But, um, so what's cool is you can blend them. So like, say for instance, if I want a 50, or 100% of the middle pickup and 50% of the uh, bridge pickup, you can do that. And if you want them both full on. And then let's go to the middle. It is all three of them right now. And say for instance, you take the middle one out, then it's the middle pickup gone. Just like the normal guitars in the middle position. Um, you can take the bridge out and just do these two. You can do all of the ones you would do in flipping just in the middle position, which is pretty cool. Um, but what's, what I think is really unique about that is you can do, like, say, I want 70% pickup in this, 100% here, and, like, 25% this. So. so, like, for a clean guitar, I think this is really cool because you can get any kind of cleans. Um, I think that's really cool because you can get as much highs as you want and how much lows. Um, and then you go in the neck pickup, or the neck position, and it's neck pickup in the middle, and then, and then if I want the neck pickup, or the middle pickup gone, that's with it back on. And then what's other cool too is, you can do this I think anywhere, is you take the neck pickup out, like it's in the neck position, you take the neck pickup out, and then the middle pickup's on. see but I adjusted the pickups to all different heights um, the bridge and the neck are or the middle and the neck are almost the same and then the bridge a little bit higher um, the reason why I did that it just seemed like the middle was fighting too much with the bridge and it was like just not I don't know it just almost came out muddy so you have to work with them so then here's the dirty channel Damn. so So now, this is just the bridge, so I'm just going to do chords or something just to make sure. So that's just the bridge, now this is the middle and the bridge. Now this is all three.
that's it. Um, it is not a bad guitar. Um, it's just, honestly, it's Epiphone's pickups I'm just not a fan of. I even switched them out in my um, Les Paul, the Korean-made one. Um, they're just not... I don't know. They're kind of muddy. So then you put three muddy pickups together, and it's just kind of... You know, I originally got this guitar and wanted to put EMGs in it. Now, if you know how much gold EMGs cost, way too much money. So, I'm not doing it. I'm going to save my money and save up for this album. And, yeah. I mean, you can see the back of it, too. You have a serial number. It says, this is the, the cute part. It says, um, set up, or... 100% inspected and set up in the USA by Epiphone. Inspected by USA means, oh, I just got this in from China. Okay. Um, it's in tune. And set up. I tweaked the neck a little bit, put this in, which honestly they do a terrible job. USA, if you are putting your name on these guitars and you say you set them up, set them up right because you're not doing a good job. Um, they kind of, honestly, I think that's a big lie. I think, honestly, it's from China. They look at it, make sure it's not damaged, put it on the shelf, sell it. Um, because I even had to set this up and, yeah, or any Epiphone I've ever played, I've had to set up before at stores. Um, not a bad guitar. My solution, though, this is very, very nice, and for $300, say, for instance, if you bought the shoes for $300, honestly, you're buying an okay playing guitar, but it looks awesome. That's great. If you're into, you know, the big show-off look, great. But if you are a musician that really cares about your tone, what I would do is chum up, put up $400 more, or not $400 more, $100 more, and buy a used Gibson Faded. Gibson Faded. They are everywhere, they're very, very common, and it's Gibson quality, just not without the paint and all the fancy inlays and the little crazy dots and stuff, but it's a good guitar. Um, it sounds way better. The It's, it's you know, made in USA, inspected by USA, and it has Gibson's name on it, so if you are a Gibson person and you don't have the money, but you want something that's nice, um, you can get this but it's not Gibson. You have to remember that. This is how I think about it. Gibson says, you know, Gibson, we have Gibson guitars, and then the lower grade of Gibson is called Epiphone. Totally different name, you can't even relate them, but they look alike. Fender, on the other hand, Fender USA, and then there's Fender Mexican. It still says Fender on the guitar. Fender is very, very proud of their Mexicans. <laughs> of their Mexicans the people, uh, the Mexican guitars. And then Squire is what 